Here we go. All right, we are on. Thank you very much. Um, welcome everybody to 360. Another week down the hatch. It is the 9th of August. What a powerful week it's been. And uh well, a powerful year, actually. What am I thinking? The last couple of years. Uh, I want to get started. As you can see, we have an all-star cast here. These are people that I myself, Mike and Dan, have worked with from the very beginning. Uh, I appreciate every one of them. They all bring something unbelievable to the table. We're all different. We all have different ways of saying things. I'm long, loud, unscripted. Take a very a three minute video and turn it into two hours, but some can be the opposite. So anyway, um, I'll get started. What I what I wanted to bring up is the other night, Mr. McFarland was on uh, Omino's and there was a lot said, a lot, a lot of things happen, very powerful things. Uh, some of the updates that are coming with O-Connect, I mean, just mind blowing. But what I wanted to pull out of that for me and anybody can add whatever they want, is one of the main things were, are you ready and are you serious? Now, everybody, you know, I have a lot, a lot of people spend a lot of time asking what if and what about and did we and can we, listen, if you would just stay with the pace and do everything that we know so far and, and stay at the journey level that we're at, you should be overflowed with all kinds of information, worrying about what's coming tomorrow and the next day and the next day. Look, be happy where you are. Be caught up. The gun's going to go off. Be ready to race. And the point is, when serious comes, it means this platform is big enough for everyone. Don't look at somebody else and say, well, I'm not like him, and I can't do that, and I don't do YouTube. I don't do that. Uh, who cares? The platform is big enough for everyone to shine. And, and by the way, it was said, you can crawl, you can walk, you can run, or you can soar. It is totally up to you. Some will soar. Now, I know I don't, I'm don't. i awful big to be soaring, but I'm going to try like hell to soar, okay? Um, but I took it serious from the very beginning, and I'm glad I did. I also believe that looking back, and I've said this many times this week, but I'll say it again to a little bigger crowd, I believe pockets are full, debt is paid, whatever it is you want, whatever dream, asset, wipe them off, bring them out of the cupboard, wherever you hit them when you're 16 years old, 20 years old, bring them out, enhance them, that all said and done, there's one thing we will have over maybe hundreds of millions, if not a billion people one day, is we were on the journey. And I believe with all my heart, one of the biggest things in our lives, looking back, no matter how much money you have, the journey will be probably the most valuable part of it. That's the way I feel. And because I've sucked in this journey part of it and absorbed every bit of it, I am very proud to be part of it. I I looked at it different because I didn't look at time and I didn't look at at least for the last two and a half years, three years, it made it so much smoother. I'm not anticipating anything. I'm not fearful of anything. I'm not, and I believe, I believe, this is me, that if you really, really take the time to get in and know what's up so far, where we've been, what this company has done, I believe the anxiety will be gone. I have none for this company, none. And let me tell you, it's nice waking up and I'm not going, oh, I wonder if this and what's going to happen next week and, and how am I going to do my KYC? Listen, you're better off just going to Kentucky for a chicken and getting a bucket, all right? Just calm down. We're all going to know how to do this when we need to know. They are building the biggest company, if you look at it, foundation-wide. Let's look at all the big boys right now. They all started in a garage or an attic. We're starting on the Burj Khalifa. Newsflash. That's pretty, that's pretty crazy stuff. This company spent tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions, just on the foundation for something what? Huge. And we're part of it. So if you have anxiety, you need to turn around, look at what you're part of, 
and then that'll put a smile in your in your face and in your heart. So be serious. Listen, for me, I'm 63 years old. And if you can look on the screen, I'm probably not the best conditioned guy on the planet. There's a lot more sand in the bottom of that hourglass than there is at the top. So time is valuable. Time is super, super valuable. On passive, you can you can make a living off your passion with on passive. I believe that. And you can leverage it. Well, I, I've been working with Mike and Dan for 10 years. Everything we did, we leveraged to get where we wanted to get a little bit faster. The problem is what we hooked to was garbage. And yes, we found a lot of garbage. And yes, we hooked to many of them. But when you find a place like this after the roads that we traveled, the, the, the valleys, the potholes, walking in cow manure, when you get to something like this, trust me, I, I, I'm, I'm, if you got, if this is the first thing you ever signed up for, you are the luckiest individual on the planet. Anyway, I'm going to turn it over because I'm going to run and keep talking like a blender. Anyway, Red Redfern. Thanks very much, Marty. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Good to be here with you all on 360. What a fantastic bunch of people we have here today for you, for your pleasure. Uh, they are some of the most amazing people that you'll see in on passive and i am extremely grateful proud and honored to work not only alongside them but also to call them my friends so thank you for coming on um, on passive 360 everyone uh, good for you to be here so what's been happening then seven days in on passive let's give you what has been going on just to refresh your minds seven whole days and then i'll talk a little bit about what marty's said as well so Let's go all the way back to Wednesday last week, one or a week ago, only seven days. And we had the amazing Michael Williams on with us last week. He was there. Uh, didn't he speak well, guys? Really, really spoke exceptionally well. I, I, I could just listen to him every single day with what he's got to say about on passive, how he motivates all of us, and really how he calms us. I loved what he had to say uh, on on passive 360 last week and if you want to see any of that then uh, you there is plenty of videos kicking about uh, for it please excuse my uh, video it's having a, a bit of an epi also last wednesday we had a seven day extension of uh o connect and o tracker then came uh, thursday we had a recap uh of uh what michael had to say in the on passive 360 that was posted in the o founders uh o founders back office uh sorry about my camera guys it's gone off so i'll just keep on going uh and on thursday also myself marty and chris did a recap of what happened on there as well friday we saw new payment methods uh added to the login page at the bottom OK, that was there. We'd already seen Visa, MasterCard, Amex. We'd seen some cryptocurrency methods as well that was put in there. But also we had the uh, Visa and MasterCard's verification methods that were put in there as well. That We saw those on Friday. And also, uh, as a little side note, Angie Han, which is uh, she's one of the great leaders of On Passive, been around for a long time on Friday. Uh, she announced her engagement, which was absolutely amazing. And I'm sure we're going to see many more of these as well. Uh, to a guy from Bangladesh called Pijon, uh, Mia Pijon. You might have seen him kicking about. He's done some excellent videos uh, over the period of time. And it was really, really heartwarming to hear their story. It's certainly they could have they could have actually made. Hang on. As he drops his, his microphone, they could have actually made a uh, film about it. The amount of hoops they had to uh, go through to not only get engaged, but also to bring him over from Bangladesh so that they can spend the rest of their lives together. Absolutely amazing. Saturday then. Um, the two new payment methods, like I said, were added not only in, into there. Uh, Chris Johnson's daughter also got married on Saturday. Uh, I was very disappointed not to see uh, any 
from USKI or any videos kicking about on the internet of uh, Chris Johnson. Uh, but there you go. We can't have it all, can we? Sunday. What happened on Sunday? Sunday was the finish of the on passive uh, YouTube competition. That was at midnight on Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, that finished. Uh, also, uh, on passive official YouTube channel on Sunday reached 500. That's half a million subscribers. So congratulations to on passive YouTube channel for an amazing milestone, really. If you look back less than a year ago, that's all it took. It's only taken one year to get to half a million subscribers. Absolutely amazing. And also Sunday was International Friendship Day, which I thought was extremely apt uh, and for what was happening in On Passive. So Monday came around. Uh, what happened on Monday? Well, for a start, it was our CMO's birthday, our very own Mohammed Nassal. It was his birthday on Monday. He, if you follow him on Twitter, you'll notice that he sent out a couple of um, uh, pictures of where he was. I won't say where he was, but uh, we all wished him happy birthday. And also on the night time. Uh, sorry, let's go back a little bit. Uh, we also saw the new website. Now, I've had people reaching out to me saying, I, I can't see anything different with the, the new website, Red. What's going on? Well, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, guess what's there? All the new payment methods have been added to the bottom of the new web page as well, which is fantastic. And that night, Monday night, we saw Ash Mufara on the Mino Miller's um, webinar. That was absolutely amazing. It's on all the major YouTube channels. Go and watch it if you haven't watched it. There was some golden nuggets that were there. Uh, and if you had missed it, Daryl Cook, uh, Janet Butler and Peter Sarur did some excellent notes. Those were posted on Tuesday in your O Founders back office under updates. One week in on Passive, guys. I say every single time I do this recap, it's amazing what goes on in a week. We think we are not getting any information. We think that things are stalling and things aren't going as quickly as you want them to. But uh, when you go back over seven days, it really is amazing that all these things happen along the line. Picking up then on Marty of what he is saying, the biggest thing that I took from the Minnow Show, O oh, Minnow Show, was what Marty has been saying. Be ready. That is the name of the game of what we are now. We've had enough warning. We've had enough preparation for what our part on the next stage is. Ash Mufara reiterated, the company have done everything they have possibly can to ensure our success moving forward. But we have to do our part as well. What is our part? Our part is to make sure that we have the funds available to activate our accounts when we are told to do it. There's no point in thinking, it's never going to happen. There's no point in thinking that, oh, I'll do it later. The sooner you activate your accounts, the sooner you can start earning commissions. And at the end of the day, isn't that what it's all about, guys? I'm going to be there first, second, boom, it's going to be paid. Why? Because I want to, as Marty says, leverage every single ounce of on passive I possibly can. Is the company going to work for me? Yes, indeed it is. Am I waiting for the company to work for me? No, I'm not. I'm going to roll my sleeves up and get active. That's what I intend to do. And hopefully you guys will want to do the same. That's it from me. Back over to you, Chris. Very good, Red. Thank you. Thank you, Marty. Welcome to my phenomenal friends on this panel. And there's so many more, but uh, you guys all have a closeness to me, whether you like it or not. Um, uh, you know what? I came on here today with an open mind. I'm, I'm so excited that I don't want to get overexcited because I have a tendency to ramble on, uh, number one, hello world. Hello founders. I want to tell you something real quick that our CEO said the other day, I repeated it and I probably will still repeat it. And I wrote it down. He said, we are interested in your success. So I'm talking to you world right now, the globe, we are a global company. Ash Mafar is interested in your success. Uh, you don't get too many people that say that. 
And he also said, you only need one reason. Um, like Red said, I want to iterate. You guys, you got to get ready. You got to pre get prepared for what's going to happen. I think soon. Uh, we don't know exactly when, but it could happen in an hour. It can happen in a minute. It can happen in a day. We don't know. But I just want you all to be ready for this. I do not want you to miss it. Uh, when that first paid product drops, uh, I'll be dropping things too. Um, everything that's around me, thank God my daughter got married last week because uh, this is important. This, this, When this paid product first comes out, this is going to be one of the most important things you do in your life. And I'm not, there's no lying about that. It's going to completely change you. So I need you to be ready. I myself are prepared for this for three years. I know some of these guys on the panel have been doing this for five years, four years, and they have prepared themselves. Uh, the people on this board have gone around from country to country talking about it passive for over five and a half years, spreading the good news, what it's about, explaining our products, explaining the CEO who's, who doesn't need to be explained. Um, he's uh, a one of a kind, literally. When I say one of a kind, You'll never meet anyone uh, more giving than this guy. And uh, you really, really got to meet him to find that out. And I had the pleasure of meeting him along with some of these people on the panel. Uh, you only need one reason. I could say that a million times. I've got many reasons why I got into a passive three years ago, three and a half years ago. Uh, not It wasn't just about me or my family. It was about what we can actually do for this world. Uh, the, the things Ash Bafara had instilled into my heart and my head is we're going to make a difference where no one else even tried. And I love that. So on this note, I'm going to, I'm what I want to do to make it easier. Um, I'm going to call Michael Williams, my brother, because he's an excellent speaker and I love him with all my heart. Uh, I'm going to call him first. Now you guys raise your hand and then I'll call you by what, how the hands go in order. And that way I don't give you a shock. So Michael, I apologize, but I know you're a rock solid dude and uh, definitely a founder. So it's all you, my brother. There you go. Thank you so much, Chris. Um, the voice is getting better. So that's a good thing. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, it is always a great pleasure to be able to uh, interact uh, with our fellow founders. Uh, we certainly have some wonderful people here on this panelist. Um, uh, you know, unpassive is just it. You know, that, that, that really what it comes down to. It's just it. It, it is it. It is whatever uh, it is that you're looking for in life um, to enhance your current circumstance. You know, it is that, you know, what's that phrase we say, a financial uh, beacon uh, of hope for humanity. You know, it is so many things to so many different people. And that's what we all, you know, love about Unpassive, you know, is that every single person around the globe can find something in Unpassive to love, you know, and that is very rare, folks. Um, you know, I, I can't think of another business where that is the case, you know. And so when we listen uh, to what our CEO has said, um, you know, and we listen to that over the years, you know, not just this year, not just last year, but for the past five years, um, he's been speaking nothing but truth um, to us, you know, and so many people has been impacted, again, in so many different ways, you know, as um, it was mentioned earlier, you know, about uh, Anjay getting engaged, and there were other founders who got engaged through on passive, you know, you, all of a sudden now you're, you're creating a union uh in on passive. So again, that transcends money, folks. That transcends a business. You know, it's more than just that. Um, so when you have a company that can put all of that together, it can be nothing but greatness. And that's what you're a part of. Every single one of us, we are all part of something that is great. And it's not something that you wish in your life that you could be part of something that is great. You know what I mean? Again, I'm a guy, I love sports, right? And when we see different dynasties, whether it's in football, whether it's in basketball and so on, right? And, you know, people always want to be a part of that. You know, man, I wish I was part of that particular dynasty. You know, I wish I was part of that particular team. You know, I wish I was part of that particular event. You know, something that was great um, that the world recognizes. And this is what on passive is. On passive is something that is great.
that the entire world, remember, we're in over 200 countries, folks. So we're not something little. We're not in a little corner somewhere or in a single country. We are around the globe. And all we have to do is to be in. That's what our CEO said. He echoed it the other day again. Right? All we have to do is to be in. And that's what we're focused on, trying to help as many people around the world to get into on passive because we're going to deliver something that they've never seen before. We're going to deliver something that there's a constant demand right, uh, for it. And I'm telling you, we have to roll up our sleeves, as Red said. You know what I mean? It's not just about, well, yeah, I'll let the company do. Listen, do what you can. right? Do what you can. There are some folks who can go out there and they will tell the world and they have no problem doing that. And there are some folks that, you know what? They just have a few friends that they're going to share this with. And that's perfectly fine. You be you. Like Marty always said, be yourself, right? You cannot duplicate Marty. It's impossible to do so, right? You can't duplicate him. You can't duplicate Mike Ellis. You just can't, right? Chris, you definitely can't duplicate Chris Johnson. Everybody knows that, right? But that's, this is the thing about Unpathic. You get to be who you are, right? You will find how you fit in. You will do what makes the most sense to you and how you can impact all of humanity just by being yourself because you have something to offer. Whether you believe it or not, maybe no one has ever told you this before, but you, every single person on this planet, have something to offer. And that's what Unpassive is allowing you to be able to bring that to the world. So I'm getting ready. I am so ready. I am so ready for the greatest shape of my life because that's exactly what's going to happen to every single one of us who continue to lock in. So stay the course. Keep the faith. It is coming short. We can see the progress. It's time to go, folks. It is time to go. Thank you so much. Thank you, Michael Williams, once again. I am so glad I started out with you. Uh, my beautiful sister, Susie McCray, you are next. Gershmender, you are on standby. Go ahead, Suze. Okay, thank you, fellas, for inviting us today. It's good to see everyone. Um, Mike Ellis, <laughs> I was cracking up the other day. You know, Marty talked about um, the journey and what we're going to remember. And I was going through different uh, videos, different things. And those, um, it brought back a lot of memories to you, Dan Street, uh, Marty, when we did the public webinars on Tuesdays and Saturdays, and Charles. And I started laughing, looking at, looking at some of the things and just the memories, the memories uh, we all have of inviting people to ask a question, but we only wanted guests to ask questions. <laughs> and the things we went through, the way we had to uh, change things to say to people, are you a guest, are you a founder? And just, you know, sometimes just shooting from the hip, but we got it done. And, you know, when I look back on all of the journey, there's so many things, so many stories, so many things we can chuckle at um that we went through you know uh, on this journey and how great it was now the one thing i just want to mention about the other night when ash was on and i had the opportunity to speak a little was the whole part of exactly um what you're all saying for us that ash really wants and the company wants us to be successful and to find the stuff that um you know, gets you fired up. What are you passionate about? What do you like to do? What do you enjoy to do? To do and use the platform to bring that forward and to be yourself. Um, over, over, it had to be about twenty or twenty-five years ago. The company I worked for sent me to uh, all of us to Dale Carnegie speaking. We we had like um, once a week. We had to go for. I remember mine was in the summer and. I learned a lot from the Dale Carnegie uh, course. But one important thing I wanna bring up that I learned today, and this is for everyone to kind of think about, was we were told, um, and most of you probably know this, when you receive a gift, uh, what do you do and what do you say? So we were taught that when you receive a gift, you, th you publicly thank, thank you for the gift, 
you know, we, we would practice this. And then you would say what you're going to do with the gift. So I encourage all the founders to look at this gift <laughs> that has been given to us. We have an obligation as founders to give back and to do something when this gift has basically been handed to us. It's, it's something that we should all have accountability for and we should all be dedicated to how are we going to say thank you and how are we going to use this gift in our lives. And I think that will be a tremendous reward to our CEO, Ash Mufaro, to see, to hear. Yes, he hears the thank yous, but once we get going and we have the different uh, solutions and tools and the platform, how are we gonna use this gift to become the best version of ourselves and to give back to other people? So I'd just like everyone to think about that. Think about that when you do receive a gift. Thank you. You know, we all received pens at Dale Carnegie and you had to get up and say, thank you. Thank you for this beautiful pen. This is what I'm going to do with this pen. I'm going to write poetry. I'm going to write short stories. I'm going to use it for work and then thank people again. So let's do that about on passive. Big thank you. How are we going to use it uh, and enjoy it? And what are we going to give back? Uh, so once again, uh, love being on this platform with you guys. Uh, so honored that you invited me. And um, thank you. And let's get ready, everybody. It's happening. Thanks, Chris. Thank you very much, my beautiful sister, Susie. And I love your picture, by the way. Uh, oh, let's get the grid of this. <laughs> that's Marty. Don't <laughs> talk to Marty. Uh, <laughs> next in line, I'd, I'd like to introduce um, someone that I've known for a while. I got to meet him in Boston. He's not only a very good friend, but I gave him the nickname of Gersh. His correct name is Gershman or Dylan. Uh, and Dan, you're on deck. Gershman, unmute yourself, my brother. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Chris, uh, uh, for inviting me. Uh, what a uh, wonderful panel. Uh, what a great minds uh, on this panel. And uh, I love uh, the way I think uh, uh, on Passive 360 is uh, uh, shaping itself. Uh, I think this is, a, I think, a benchmark of, uh, I think, so many uh, good things happening to on Passive. Uh, so thankful to you all, this uh, uh, trio, uh, you, Chris, and uh, Marty, and Red, uh, that you have raised this uh, uh, value for this platform. And uh, uh, with your, with your, uh, so many things that I can count at. But again, uh, if we are on passive, uh, sometimes I always think that uh, uh, from last uh, past uh, five years we are here, and uh, how we have transformed ourselves. Uh, what I personally think, we were like uh, just a simple and uh, just simple persons and now what we are, right? In these five years, I think uh, the biggest transformation which on passive has uh, uh, given to ourselves, our lives, I think this is the biggest thing happened to us uh, for not only for us, for our families, I, I, I can say, because we are setting that example in front of our children, our, our, our co-workers or whatever, you know, our thinking has gone, uh, uh, I think, a 360 change uh, in these five years, you know. And this is only because of on passive, uh, because uh, uh, Mr. Ash has developed or making this on passive in such a way uh, that, okay, this was Mr. Ash idea, okay, but onto that, there is something else into on passive, which I think we all have learned, and uh, not we, I think uh, uh, thousands and thousands of uh, founders, they have learned from this platform, and they are now better human beings, uh, their thinking has changed, uh, uh, Ash is uh, no doubt doing his part, uh, that is good, but we as an individual are, I think, uh, doing our part, uh, so that we can be more uh, uh, successful uh, in our lives and for the society. And, you know, when, when something, uh, because I'll give you one example, you know, uh, uh, Chris, uh, we were at Boston, you know, and, you know, the guy who was uh, uh, driving uh, Mr. S limousine uh, or his Cadillac, I think, you know, he was a Punjabi guy, you know. Uh, so when we uh, came out of uh, that dinner uh, on that day, last, uh, last day, 
and has called me uh, okay gosman this is your uh, punjabi uh, uh, friend just uh, talk to him i said okay so i went to him and uh, so he just uh, shook uh, shake hand with me and uh, came up with a very strange question actually so he came to me and told me okay uh, so who, who is this person like he was referring to ash you know i said what do you mean you know he said who is this person i say he is a ash mufara kat that i know but who is this person i said okay i got it and uh, i said to him, okay you are driving him from last so many days so what do you feel about uh, him you know he came up with that uh, and say okay gursman there you know i'm driving him but this person this ash his thinking is uh, like i, I don't uh, uh, have words that uh, anybody i have seen such a person like this you know uh so he's talking something something I, i'm not getting it he said but he's what i'm getting is he's talking at a very higher higher level you know and uh, so i said so uh, what i i can do then <laughs> ash came in between as said gursminder uh, give your link to uh, bhati his name was bhati you know b h a t t i bhati give your link to his i said uh, how can i do it? you you can uh, invite him i said no no i don't have any links in non passive you go and uh, give uh, your link to bhati and uh, at the same moment bhati joined uh, <laughs> on passive you know and then later on he came i said okay uh, bhati listen one thing this person ash mufara he is he is like you are driving this person right now uh you can say he is uh, our friend your friend millions of other people friend you know but one day will come people will just just uh, uh, they will line up for him you know the person you are driving people are going to line up for, for this person because he is creating a system he is creating such a thing so many millions and millions of people are going to follow this person mark my this word and uh, now few days earlier his uh, his phone came and he is told yeah you were right you know he is unprecedented person you know he is doing such a thing that i think nobody uh, could ever have done this thing you know and uh, off late if we can see mr ash behavior you know in webinars he just want to teach something if if he, if he can uh, uh, he he wants to that every person associated with him or on passive they should be a, a person uh, uh, whom like uh, he should be like a good person in the uh, in the sense so he he is teaching how to behave he is teaching how how to do the business he is preparing ourself you know when he come up with okay prepare yourself not repair yourself you know he he come up with the, the those phrases you know which uh, i'm liking it you know and uh, right now i'm coming out of 3 uh, hours webinar with our indian uh, uh, friends you know and straight away i am here and sometime people come to me oh how you are doing this how you are managing all this thing i simple say one thing something is pushing us you know as ash is saying something is pushing on passive for all of us in the same ma manner something is pushing all of us here in on passive that we are never tired we can speak for on passive like hours and hours together we are not afraid of uh, uh, speaking with people uh, we have like a, uh, we can say uh, confidence you know i think the level of confidence in which we speak uh, right now uh, in these days i think nobody has seen this uh, uh, five years back you know uh, so i think it's a whole complete life changing opportunity on passive and we are lucky that we are here we are lucky that we are working with a person called mr ash mufara and definitely i think in next coming five years you know i, I don't see like uh, what's happening in august or september or october i i, I see like uh, in next five years i think something is very very uh, much higher uh, in the in the ladder is stored for us uh, with on passive so thank you thank you chris for inviting me i'm loving this opportunity thank you very much thank you very much gershmender and might i say global company uh and just to give you an idea you could see on this panel we have a mixture of phenomenal people different colors different races i'm sure different religions but just to give you a heads up for the new people that are watching us in this company we have founders that are doctors lawyers physicists scientists auto workers retirees business carpenter owners uh, a lot of great things so just to let you know this is where we're at so gersh mender thank you i love gersh i appreciate you brother and uh, charles you're on after dan dan street i have no words but nice things to say you're the most calm man i've ever met and uh, I i'm glad you're teaching me to sit still a lot better so dan go ahead buddy 
Now, now, where did you get that? Did Marty tell you I told you to sit still? I bet he did. Yeah. No. Okay. Well, I just first of all, I want to thank uh, you know Marty, Chris, Red, uh, three hundred and sixty guys for for having me on. I mean, that's just just amazing. I have nothing but respect for you guys and your perseverance and dedication. So I'm passive is uh, is second to none. So thank you again for all that you guys do, and. <clears throat> You know, Susie, <laughs> I, I was thinking just the other day the same thing about those uh, corporate webinars. And you know, the thing about that is it seems like it was a lifetime ago. It does. When you, when you look at this entire journey, it just seems like that was so long ago compared to what has happened since then. I mean, we've just gone light speed to where we are right now. So I think that we all know that uh, on passive is going to change our lives. But it's important, what I got from Ash the other, the other day was the other night, was that it's important on how that's gonna change you and how you can design and implement the life that you've always dreamed of. See, On Passive can help you do that. And Ash and his team will provide all the necessary tools for that success. But you have to, you as an individual have to prepare for that success. Otherwise, you might be surprised at some of the unexpected challenges and frustrations that might pop up. Now, the only reason I'm saying that is that, uh, you know, I'm just recommending to you, everybody, including everybody on this panel, and I know a lot of us have done this and talked about it, is that just getting, it doesn't cost a dime to get advice from experts. Just kind of look around a little bit, and that might include CPAs, that might include estate planning people that, it could include uh, even attorneys. You know, get, get a general idea of how you want to set up your business. And this isn't this isn't one of these things where you have to know everything. It's just a general education, uh, knowledge because that knowledge and education is invaluable. And I think it's important. And I think that's the message I got anyway from Ash the other day is to prepare. And that doesn't only mean prepare financially and prepare and get the necessary devices. If you have an iPhone, well, do what you can to get a computer, do what you can to get a laptop, do whatever it takes to help your business run the most effectively. And so, like I say, you don't need to be an expert in everything, but have a general understanding of what it takes to organize your business. And uh, I'll just end with, uh, uh, you know, I don't talk a whole lot, but <laughs> I'll just end with, uh, I love Jim Rohn and I'll end with a, a quote from Jim Rohn, you know, we all talk about health and we and uh, diets and and what it takes to be healthy. And I look at Marty; I mean, he's made some great strides in in addressing his health. Intermittent fasting, keto diet, doing what it takes. Just and and a lot of that is the uh, the inspiration he has from a lot of the people on this panel. But but just because he wants to do what's best for his health. Well, in addition to that, we have to, Jim Rohn's quote is, nourish the mind like you would your body. The mind cannot survive on junk food. And too often, a lot of us, a lot of our minds are just full of a lot of junk. So I just say, hey, OnPassive is going to help us, and they're going to provide us with all the tools to eliminate a lot of that junk, and we're just going to have a great ride and have a good time. So that's all I have for now. Thanks, guys. Nice, Dan. That was wonderful. Love, love the quote, by the way. And you are very calm. I love that about you. Um, Charles. You don't know me very Robin, well. <laughs> Robin, you're on deck. Charles Osan, uh, another gentleman I got to meet in Boston. He's a lot shorter than I thought, but he's, he's, been, <laughs> in, he's been in some pretty powerful places to discuss a passive. I witnessed it with some royalty. Uh, I know he's been going through Africa and doing a lot of great things. So uh, introduce Charles a song, my brother, my friend. Go ahead, Charles. All right, thank you, Chris. I don't know why you have to tell them how short I am, but hey, it's okay, right? And, and I want to thank you guys for OP360 guys for making this an OP uh, 1160 today. So thank you very much. It gives me a lot of I have time to reminisce, like Susie said. We used to have all these webinars, and, you know, come a long way. We really come a long way. And personally, I have enjoyed the process so much so that I feel like it shouldn't end, even though I want the apples, right? But I feel like the process should not end. 
because I've grown, I've had a much bigger family than I used to before I got to Unpassy. And I'm just gonna piggyback off of what everybody has said, you know, and a little bit here, a little bit there. And I know Susie talked about what she got from the Carnegie. Uh, if you get a gift, you say thank you. And then you say, what, what are you gonna do with it, right? So we have to give back, like she said. I know, I mean, I was read that said he's gonna roll up his sleeve. Michael Williams said the same thing. I am gonna roll up my sleeve, but guess what? In a good way. Because from day one, and this is effortless, right? Once I got into this business, it was so easy. It was the easiest thing I've ever done online. And guys, if you look at all of us here today, we have over 200 years of experience marketing online. Put it together, okay? And when we say this is the easiest thing you'll ever find, yes, it is. There's nothing out there, not even 100 compared to what we have. So you can do it effortlessly. Yes, we have Old Black, okay? We're gonna give what we can, but what's the focus of Old Black? Empower people, right? You may give a little bit, but you need to show them, you need to show them how to fish. Let's not just focus on giving the fish. So when we say roll up our sleeve, meaning we're gonna be showing them how to fish, right? Now, remember, Zig Ziglar, may he still rest in peace. He said, if you have enough people get what they want, you will eventually get what you want, right? So that's what we're doing, okay? This is the easiest opportunity to share because people don't have to recruit to make money. How do you beat that? It has never happened in my lifetime, and I don't think it's ever going to happen again. So it's a one in a lifetime opportunity that we have, please take it with stride, make use of it, and get as many people involved as possible. Remember, our CEO said, there's gonna be a world before on passive and a world after on passive. And that world after on passive is a world where the power is in the people. It's a world where we as founders have helped to lift up humanity in a way that has never been seen before. So, okay, so now the question is, is it? and that's our CEO, right? He says a lot of things. He came last time and he said, we are ready, are you ready? Okay, if you treat your business like a part-time, well, you're gonna have part-time income. When you treat it as a full-time, you're going to have full-time income, right? Once we are out there, once we say, hey, guys, go and activate. Do you have the funds to activate? We've had five years, some four years, some three years, some two years. Again, I have known all along that we're going to need it. You don't wait until it's time, and then you say, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I'm not ready now, right? Okay, so you are either preparing or repairing. He said all these things, and that's why it's been like a university for five years for most of us, myself in particular. And I look at every human being like there's something I can learn from you. I don't care who you are. As long as you're a human being, I can learn something from you. So because we are over 1.4 million founders and I've learned something from 1.4 million people, that is invaluable. That you cannot trade for any kind of money. So guys, if you're not plugged in, if you're not engaged, like I always say, you snooze, you lose, okay? Get engaged and you will be glad you did. Back to you, Chris. Thank you, Charles. Phenomenal words as normal, as always. It's always good to see you also. Um, next person I'd like to introduce is a very special friend of mine. Uh, we joke a lot, but today I don't wanna joke. We call her, uh, her name is Robin Nova. We call her the voice. She's got a, a voice from heaven and she's got a heart from heaven and she's got a mind from a genius. So on that note, Mike, you're on deck. Robin Nova, please unmute yourself. Thank you, Chris. On Passive is a huge event that's coming to the world. People are not even aware yet with 
the people who are outside of our own passive connections, foundation, family, memberships. It's a new business model. It's never been seen before in the world. And this frightens people. This makes people unsure of what we really are. The truth of the matter is this model, this type of business model will be taught moving forward in the business schools around the world. And it is very, very real. It is heart-based. It is real. It is truthful. It has integrity. And it's a representative and will continue to grow through the hearts and the integrity of all of us involved in it. We are the foundation of Unpassive. And we are going to help to build and spread this around the world the way it should be done. Starting with our CEO, Ash Mufara, who was the brainchild to this, who is the original heart-based individual who is bringing on passive to life. He has collected and drawn to him a group of executives who are like-minded, like-hearted, and through everything that he has put together, he has brought all of us together. We are united in so many different ways. And this is something very, very special that has not happened in many other businesses at all. There may be little snips that have happened, but nothing has come together as cohesively as what is going on with Unpassive right now. Our mindset is what is also going to make the difference as we move forward. Stand tall, stand proud. We are on passive, and this is very, very real. So when life is sweet, we can honestly say thank you and celebrate. And on the other side of that, when there are challenges or we see that life is bitter, we can say thank you, but learn from those lessons to move forward for ourselves and while we're helping others. Be ready. We don't have to spend a lot of money to be ready. It's possible to do the research, but this is your choice. Learn what a computer is going to cost. Learn what something that will help you be part of this and, and integrate more with your fellow people in OnPassive, whether it's your own organization or whether it's the webinars or whether it's whatever else where you want to do with the tools of OnPassive, because it's your choice. But you don't have to go out and spend any money at the moment. Do the research, though. Find out who you need to talk to about setting up your legacy for your family, for your products. That you can do without any cost, following on what Dan was saying, which is so important to know what you want. I know exactly where I want to put money. I know exactly who I want to talk to about setting up everything that I need to do when OnPassive starts producing the, the commissions and I start collecting my apples. And following on Susie, our actions will definitely speak louder than our words. We have all spoken so much over the years and from the time that each one of us has entered on passive. The truth will be the heart that will lead us from there to what we will actually do through our actions to help others, which is also a fundamental building block of what on passive is, helping others throughout our own communities and out into the world. So I'd like to end with saying that one smile can start a friendship, one word can end a fight, one look can save a relationship and one person can change your life. Let's be that one person to as many other people as we can be. And remember, we are on passive, we have heart, and we're very, very proud of who we are and what we represent. Thank you for inviting me to be on here with you today. It's very, very special. Wow, sure glad I don't have to follow you, Robin, but Mike does, uh, absolutely beautiful as usual. And once again, uh, you just hit it right on the head. So on that note, Julie, you're on deck after Mike. Mr. Mike Ellis, um, I don't think you need, I think he, there's another extremely, I call him a gentle giant, uh, very, very sophisticated. He's very forward and down to earth and he hates when I do it. So Mike Ellis, come on, man. Yeah, Ro Robin is always a tough act to follow, but, uh, but I'll, I'll try and get through it. Um, you know, I, I know there's a lot of uh, excited anticipation out there, uh, individuals that are participating with Unpassive, and they're excited about what's what's going on in, in Unpassive, and, and they can't wait for it to come. And I get a lot of, uh, of, of when, where, how, how do I do this business? What do I do? When do I do it? And and really, the best advice I can give, and you've gotten some, some really 
wise things being said here today, but the best advice I can give you, just take a breath, okay? Just take a breath. And you're in such a, a great position right now. You are on a luxury liner and you have an executive suite. That's where you're at right now. And when you start to understand that, you're, you, you can start to really, your mind can start to ease. You know you're in a good place. You're going to be taken care of. Things are going to work out for everybody that's here. And, and I, I, I love this, and I've been getting this the last few days. I want to give you five secrets to success, okay? Don't you love that? You're going to get five secrets to success. When you know these secrets, you're done. You're going to be successful. You're going to be a billionaire. Let me tell you something. They do not exist. When someone comes at you with that, just run the other way. Here's what on passive has done for all of us. And this is such a big deal. Once you understand this, you know you're in the right place. On passive is giving you the ability, if you have the inclination, to come in and learn how to do what everybody here on the panel knows how to do, how to build a business, how to build an online, online business, how to, how to market. And while you're learning, this is the key. While you're learning all of this, Unpassive is going to pay you. Now, I know Marty, Dan, and I, we've been doing this a long time. That's why the gray hairs are there. But I can guarantee you that first job, that first business we were in, nobody was going to pay us for anything. If we didn't do something, we were just dead. And, and these two guys were pretty, pretty successful at it. I was horrible in the beginning. I, I didn't make anything. But on passive, because they're going to work for all of us, you're actually going to get paid as you learn the business of on passive. Whether you decide to do it or not, it doesn't matter. On passive is still going to go to work for you. And I believe in time they're going to take care of those, those financial woes. So as you think about on passive, yes, we're very, very close. Take a breath, clear your mind, understand where you're at. And when you do that, everything gets better. And you're not worried if it's if it takes another day or another week or another two weeks for Unpassive to launch the uh, paid products to the uh, to the global market. It just doesn't matter because you're in Unpassive because Mr. Bufar has set up a system that literally takes all the worry out of an online business and how you develop it. Because now, because of what Unpassive is doing, you have the time. And as Marty said, time is so valuable. And Mr. Bufar gives you that time to develop, to, to, to grow, to become the person you want to be. So that's it, Chris. Just very, very short. Uh, we've had a lot of speakers, but yeah, relax, guys. Take that breath. You're you're in the right place at the right time. Go ahead, Chris. Uh, Mike, I'm not going to lie here. That was the most powerful. I, you, you said a lot of things. I want to make a private YouTube just for what you said. I love it, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate you, man. Next, without last, not, not last... Uh, one of my favorite sisters, she's beautiful, she's smart, she's done just about everything in life, and she's come to Unpassive to completely spread her uh, wings, as we call her the peacock, Miss Julie Wen. Go ahead, Julie. Thank you so much, Chris, and thank you, Unpassive 360, for having all of us here. Um, Michael William used to say, Unpassive is the only business uh, you'll ever need. I wanted to say, Unpassive is the only place to better our life that you ever need. It is just completely perfect. Now, Mr. Ash Mufara, he is the leader and he framed the dream. I'm going to call it the dreams, which is Unpassive and how we all over 1.4 millions now, almost 3 millions of us see ourselves fit in it. And while we are following the journey, it's so inspiring where it inspires us to do more, to learn more and to build our own dreams. We are the leaders. Every single one of us are leaders. Many of us who currently listening right now are brand ambassadors of Unpassive. Have we built our dream yet? Have we built the dream that all of our users, the people that currently here with us or the people that coming in the futures, do, we, do they see themselves fit in the dream? Will it be the education field? Will, will it be the banking field, human resources? or just simply charity or supporting an organization? Is that our dream? 
or simply just a dream of enjoying our life. Whatever that dream is, do we write it down? Do we define it? Do we stay focused? And do we take that massive actions to make that come true? Can the people see us? Can the people around us see us and inspire them to learn more, to do more, and to build their dreams? Unpassive is here. And it is the greatest distributor of, excuse me, not distributor, the greatest, it could be distributor, and the greatest contributor for all of us to build our dream. How do we do that? How do we do that? And so today, I just wanted to share with all of us here, on passive is here. It is already here. How big is our dream? How far can we go using on passive? Because it is the biggest contributor of our dream. And I wanted to take this opportunity also to thank you on passive. Thank you, Mr. Mufara and his beautiful family for giving me the tools to build our dream. And thank you so much, everyone, for being here with us. Thank you. Thank you, Julie Wen. wise words. And yeah, that's a big thank you from all of us to the big guy, Mr. Ash Mafara, who we call brothers, our brother. Um, number one, I want to do a shout out for Peter Shore. He was supposed to be here today. He's the gentleman that got me and we worked together for 30 some years. And uh, he is actually moving to Arizona today. So big shout out to you, Peter Shore. And Red is still here. He's trying to refresh. So don't think he's not. I pr- I'm going to hand this I'm, back to Marty I'm in a still second. Here. Oh, he's still there. He is. I want to hand this back to Marty in a second here, but I want to personally thank you all for uh, coming, uh, speaking your great words. Um, when I say the inside of an apple, you all know what I'm talking about. Uh, this is what it is. These are some of the people that have been throughout this entire world by the internet, talking to people, especially Mike Ellis for over five years. He's been telling people about it passive. He's never lost his vision. He stayed on the same path. And I have a lot of respect for that, uh, just like Ash Mafara. So on that note, uh, on passive is the place to be. So I'm talking to you founders. I'm talking to you new affiliates. I'm talking to future customers. If you're ready to change your life, I definitely would check out on passive. It's worth your while. Marty DeGarmo, back to you. Wow, wow, wow. Well, 360 today was just like on passive, bigger and better than I thought it would be. And I thought it would be good, but it was fantastic. Uh, Susie made me laugh because I was thinking back. I didn't think about it until she said it, but how this started, you know, had to have been there, but back with the bad word LC, whatever the freak that was. But anyway, we come in and Ash gives me the Zoom link and blah, blah, blah. And so I go to Susie and uh, Red and Mike and, okay, we're going to do a webinar at 2 o'clock, whatever it was. So I'm sitting there going, okay, i got to be able to tell them something. So I got to ask, ask, I, I got the webinar, I got it. So, so you know, I'm nervous. I haven't done, I've talked to people. That's not the problem. I don't know how, how he wants it. So I got a big, <laughs> a big plan from him. I said, what do you want me to do? He said, uh, Brother, yeah, just do what you do. And I said, well, right now, come on, crapping myself. Anyway, I get off. I go back to Susie. Susie, Susie, the regular organization and stuff, right? Susie goes, I said, okay, look, I talked to Ash. Here's what he wants us to do. He goes, what? Susie, you do what you do. Red goes, I said, Red, you do what you do. And they, they got real quiet. Susie goes, what's that mean? Let's just go. Red goes right there. Red goes, uh, I'll do Q&A. And that's where that started. So it was funny from the very beginning. But, yeah, there was a a, a big shift. But it was a lot of fun. A little pressure because, you know, I wasn't really sure. But he, he asked, didn't care. He knew we'd do okay. And we did. So 
But anyway, I want to thank everybody here. I mean that. That was uh, a lot of fun. Uh, but uh, uh, Martin, sorry, uh, sorry to interrupt you in between, but I just want to say one thing uh, regarding Mike Ellis, actually. Uh, so we have never spoken, actually, but uh, again, uh, but uh, what Mike Ellis, uh, you know, on the, those early days, uh, when uh, you guys joined in 2019, uh, you know, he was uh, uh, making also those videos, you know, that has helped so much, you know, uh, that time because uh, apart from Ash webinar, there was just uh, uh, very few, uh, you know, uh, things to uh, like uh, people uh, uh, need. Uh, uh, so Michael is every time come up with his uh, uh, videos, uh, no doubt it was in English and most of people, they couldn't get it. But again, uh, uh, like people like us, uh, we translated it. Uh, and uh, uh, then we later on, you know, in 2020, we started our webinars also, but again, uh, Whenever uh, Mike's uh, videos uh, are there, uh, really, it's a it's a treat to watch. It's a, it's a like a specific, you know. It's not a, like a boring type. It's a specific to the point and what he has to say. So it's a more, uh, I think, clarity to all those things. So thank you, Mike, for your uh, all those videos in early days. You know, thank you very much. Yeah, I, I appreciate that, Gushmender. You, you have to understand that that uh, Marty and Dan they were a taskmaster. They made me do those videos. <laughs> and if I didn't do no, them, no, I, I no, didn't no. Hold, hold, on a minute. Hold, hold on, hold on, real quick. <laughs> what happened was we all got together, okay? They knew that to make a 10-minute video would take me two hours. Dan said, I'm not doing a video. I'll do all the writing. Went to Mike. Mike did a video. Uh, okay. So a couple of days go by, and how's it going? Holy cow, that's the hardest 10 minutes I ever did, right? So most of them hit the floor. You guys didn't see them. And some of them, thank God they hit the floor, okay? But the, it, it turned out he started doing them. And the funniest thing about doing them, we were in a bubble on Passive Nation, really. He's doing all these webinars, and all of a sudden we're seeing 100, 200, 1,000, 2,000. Mike goes, we don't even have that many people yet. Who's watching these? And we didn't really realize it was out like that. Thank God. I mean, it's funny looking back. But yeah, it, we all took a lane that we felt comfortable in. And, and that's how life is, isn't it? And that's about unpassive. Pick your lane. Right? Mike, Mike went there. He just migrated there. Uh, hey, hey, Red, hey, Marty, let me, let me tell him the funniest story about making videos. Okay. I made one video. I absolutely loved it. It was terrific. And I showed it to Marty and he loved it. I mean, it was a great video. And then after he got done, he said, now, if you put that up, you're going to jail. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Obviously, no yeah. one ever saw that video. No, no, no. Thank God. Yeah, it's a great video, Mike. But uh, there's going to be a knock on your door in about two hours from the FBI. But anyway, yeah, it, it was it was a great video. But and you know what's funny? Now that video would probably be okay. Isn't that funny? Oh, it'd be mild. That, yeah, yeah. At the time, it wasn't. Mike was already going one step beyond. Almost always, you know. But uh, anyway, that's just reminiscent about funny stuff. Or he'd say, Marty, I got a video. Check it out. You think it's okay? And and I knew if I said anything that wasn't yes, he's going to delete it. Like in a second. So I would go. I saw one part that I could I could edit it out. It would take me two seconds. So I go, okay, I'm going to say this. So this crazy man doesn't delete it. Mike, oh, great video. Okay, thanks. But there was one spot. Okay, don't worry. It's gone. <laughs> God, I said, wait, I, I can, no, 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 I'll do it again. And that's how we went. But anyway, so it wasn't all smiley all the time. Sometimes it was pretty crazy. But like I said, though, everybody here, uh, the best thing that ever happened to myself, Mike and Dan, is actually work out broader. I I, I love what I'm doing. You know, I, I love talking to people, love helping people. I believe in guiding people and inspiring them. I've been through where people have been motivated. Motivation doesn't last, but if you teach people to thank or get them to thank, that's a lifetime. So if anybody can even get to the level that all of us are here, we're not a, we don't see the vision that has safety to the higher level, but just get to the point where we are now. And what that means is get caught up to where we are and you guys will not worry about the small stuff. I'm going to go back around. I was going to anyway. I guess Gershman was nervous. He won't get a second chance. 
But anybody that has anything to say before I shut it down, uh, e even you, Gersmender, uh you can. Go ahead. Maybe raise your hand. I don't care how you want to do it. But if you want a closing statement, Michael, I know you do. Uh, and some other people probably do. But anyway, go ahead. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. I have a quick yeah, closing uh, statement. Hang on, Gersmender. I want yeah, to say yeah. Michael Williams is taller than I expected. <laughs> No one talks about the tall. No one talks about the tall guys, right, Michael? Michael's taller than I expected. Okay, that's what I have to add. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> Susie. Susie, thank you very much. Always full of gold nuggets. I love it. <laughs> well, I just want to say I heard that Susie has a great elbow, so that's all I got. Hey, once you grab that elbow, you'll grab nothing else, Mike. That's what that's what that's Chris a whole nother webinar. That's a whole nother webinar. <laughs> All right, yeah. let's see. Red, Red, if you're still there, would you like to say anything, Red? No, I'm good actually. I'm enjoying uh, I'm enjoying the uh, inner workings of uh, the the apple at the moment and uh, the banter. It's very good. <laughs> All right. Mr. Charles, how about you? You got something you want to end up with? Yeah, I just want to say, hey, thanks to all the great guys, especially those of you <clears throat> who were there 2018 before we got there, right? I know myself, Mike, Maddie, who came in 2019, early 2019, but we had Michael Williams was there, Red Reffin was there, Peter Suro was there, you know, all these guys were there. So we just want to thank you guys because you saw Ash's vision, okay? You held on to it long enough for us to join you guys. And then we've held on to it now. And more and more people are coming. And very soon, we're going to go viral. So you want to be part of this movement, OK? It's a revolution in the making. Do not miss out. Stay engaged. That's all. Have a great day, guys out there. Thank you, Charles. Susie, do you want to say anything else besides that Michael's really tall? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, and you're kind of tall too, Chris. <laughs> oh, I'm short. I'm shorter than Charles. <laughs> well, just have fun. Okay, yeah, my favorite F word, fun, F-U-N. Everyone, just have fun. Like Marty says, breathe, relax. Everything's going to be taken care of. Just have fun like we always do. And thanks again for having us on today. It was, it was fun. Wonderful. Uh, I'll, Julie, I'll, just, I'll just say oh, I can go ahead. Um, a couple lines. Uh, one, I'm not that tall, so <laughs> just in case people see me, like, wait, wait a minute, I thought you're like six six or something. No, no, no. Um, but you know, let, let's just think about this, folks. Right? We've all been there, right? We've all uh, this business, that business, whatever. We've all been trying to find a way out. Um, you know, trying to help our families, so all of that stuff. All of us. When I say all of us, not just those that you're seeing right here. But all of us, all of us that are in on, on passive, right? Whatever, whatever the number is, all of us. Um, and I just think that it's full time. It is full time that all of us get to win. Not some of us, right? Not a few of us, but every single one of us. Every single one of us who are, who are in, it is full time that we win. And that's exactly what on passive is going to do for all of us. To me, that's the bottom line. That's the most important thing is that every single one of us get to win finally because no other company has done that. It hasn't been done, folks. It has not been done. You know it. I know it. We all know it. And here, finally, we have a company that is actually doing it because it's already a done deal. Wow. And, and you know what, Michael? It was definitely a done deal when Milo came in and you were now the shortest person in the room. Once <laughs> Milo came in. <laughs> Very good, Michael. Let me go to the ladies now. Uh, Miss Julie, when Robin, you're on deck. Go ahead, Julie. Uh, thank you, Chris. Um, what I wanted to say is that, you know, the journey ahead of us, uh, it's beautiful. However, but there's a journey that we have gone through you know, means whatever the past that happened to us made us who we are today. And the friends that we are making today, it's amazing and on passive. So all of us, what we are going to do at this time is live your dream, live, live, enjoy the moment, enjoy what is in, in front of us, enjoy it because it's it meant to be. 
right? It, it meant to be. So that's all I wanted to say, Chris. Just uh, enjoy it. Yeah. Thank you very much. We're definitely enjoying this. Miss Robin Noble, do you have any last beautiful words there, lady? Of course I do. <laughs> Act stands for action changes things. Respect each other, be kind to each other, and we are in it to win together. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Short and sweet, just the way I like it. Mr. Dan Street, will you have any final words there? Sure. Uh, I think uh, that none of us here uh, really appreciated the impact that on passive would have on us developing relationships with people all over the world. And not only that, but these people that everybody on this panel, the growth that we've experienced both with on passive and our interpersonal relationships with one another, as well as uh, nurturing the relationships of the people that we've developed relationships all over the world. And then seeing those people grow seeing those people grow and start their own webinars and just get, get engaged in the process of on passive is, is just absolutely amazing. And I, I really appreciate that. It's really fun to watch. That's all I have. Thank you very much, Dan. And uh, Mike, they made me do it. Ellis, you got some last words you want to say, Mike? Yeah, just, just real quick, Chris, just uh, be good, be blessed, enjoy. That's it. Perfect. And Gersh Mender, my brother from uh, way away, you have any last words, man? Uh, yes, uh, uh, Chris, uh, just want to uh, thank you, uh, everyone, uh, and uh, loving this uh, togetherness uh, of each and everyone, um, not only in this panel, but uh, uh, in On Passive uh, in totality. Uh, so just uh, uh, we, uh, want to request everyone to be focused because we are actually all winners with on passive you know we are already winners with on passive so stay focused and stay blessed this is the only thing uh, we want in life and that's why we are here so focus is needed and uh, rest uh, just forget about anything so loving this uh, process thank you thank you gershman red do you have any last words red no just buckle up guys because it is coming <laughs> very good and uh last but always least marty DeGarmo, go ahead it's all yours buddy take it take it home <laughs> thank you chris i'll deal with you later um yeah closing thing is i want to thank everybody for being here i'm thankful for the journey i'm fortunate for me i'm living part of my why and i love treasure hunting not the kind that come in a box but people that have become the better of themselves. It means a lot to me. I enjoy watching people that go from hiding to showing to talking to running their own webinars. And for me to see that is a, is a true blessing for me. I love it. I absolutely love it. Anyway, love all you guys and I'll see you, Lord's will, next Wednesday on 360. In fact, I might even be around tomorrow at noon. But anyway, I'll see you all and God bless. Thank you, Marty. Thank you very much.